Welcome to NH Tech. In this video you will learn how to make PCB layout on advanced design system. This is low noise amplifier PCB layout design made on Keysight ADS. In this video, I will make a PCB layout of an LNA which is QPA2628. Its frequency range is from 22 GHz to 31.5 GHz. This is the data sheet of this LNA. Gain of this low noise amplifier is 23 dB. Noise figure is 1.6 dB. Package dimensions are 4 by 4 mm. It has an QFN package. This is the block diagram of this LNA. It has total 16 pins. Pin number 2 is RF in and pin number 10 is RF out. Now, let's start making the layout. Go to Start menu and create a new layout. Type any name as you wish. Start from 00. zero. As dimension of QFNIC is 4 by 4 mm. So, set the length and height equal to 4 mm. From the data sheet note the dimensions. First of all make these cutouts. Observe that total height is 4 mm. Thickness of each pin is 0 0.25. And, gap is also 0 0.25 mm. So, the total height of cutout would be 1.75. So, subtract the 1.75 from 4 and divide it by 2. Thus the lower left Y would be 1.125. And width is 0 0.65 mm. Now make these cutouts. Now make the pins layout. There are 16 pins. The length of one pin is 0 0.4 mm. And thickness is 0 0.25 mm. And gap between the two pins is 0 0.25 mm. Now, this is the complete layout of LNAIC. Save this cell as IC layout. And, make new cell for PCB. I want to make PCB of 12mm by 12mm. Now, make a cutout of 4 by 4mm for IC, and, paste the IC in this space. This is functional block diagram. Notice that all odd number pins are ground pins. As pin number 1 is ground pin, so attach it to ground plane. Set 
Similarly, attach all the ground pins to ground plane. Now make the cutouts for RF in and RF out. Now go to layers and select the package layer, and make a package for this IC. This will improve the visibility. Now, come back to conductor layer. Now, add a substrate layer. Here, I am using the substrate Rogers R04003 and its thickness is 20 mil. And now, set the conductor intrude into the conductor. And change the material from perfect conductor to copper. Set the thickness to 35 microns. Save the setting. Recall that pin number 5 and 7 are ground pins. Let's attach it to ground plane. Similarly, attach the pin number 13 and 15 to ground plane. Now, go to layers and select the bond drawings, and make the IC outline so that the IC is adjusted at this outline during stuffing. Now come back to conductor layer. You can also group objects by selecting them and then go to Edit Menu and make a new group. Now go back to Data Sheet. List of components is also given. Observe that the capacitor C3 is a surface mount capacitor of package 0402 and its one end is attached to pin number 4, 6 and 8, and, the other is connected to ground. Now, copy these items using referencing tool. Now, go to package layer and, create a package of 0402 capacitor. Recall that, length of 0402 capacitor is 1 mm by 0.5 mm. Observe that C6 and C15 are of 0603 package.
You can find the capacitor sizes from any internet source. For example, length and width of 0805 package is 2 mm by 1.2 mm. Now, add the labels. Now, create a pad for VDD. Now, check a 3D view. Now, add bottom ground plane. Now, go to hole layer and make mounting holes and vias. In RFPCB's grounding vias play the important role. Mostly all the empty space on PCB is grounded and connected to bottom ground plane through vias to make grounding strong.
Now, this PCB is ready for manufacturing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.